can't make it out. Yo, I was just showing you guys that this trade was about to hit my break even. Welcome back. Today is day two. It is about to be 9 a.m. So we're almost time to trade. I ideally get on the charts around 9.30. So right now I'm just getting started, getting my setup and everything ready, getting the Zoom ready, getting everything ready, getting the private sessions for the VIP trading network. I'm just, that's what I do before I trade. I get ready, I take a shower. I just do all the things that need to be prepared ahead of time. I get my camera set up. I record the vlog like this just because when I'm actually trading, I want to be locked in. I want to be in the zone. A lot of people, they don't realize how much focus is really required when we're trading. Yes, we're not actively pressing buttons the whole entire time, but it's a lot of mental drainage and it's a lot of mental power that is being used. So I just want to be able to make sure that it's fully maximized. But today it is Tuesday. It's the second day of the week. We had a break even day yesterday. We're going to see what we can do today. I'm not looking to take multiple trades. Ideally, if I could just get one good trade, that's all I'm looking for, whether it's a win or loss. But at the end of the day, we just got to wait to see what the market presents us because we can't make anything happen. We can just take what we can get. One hour fair value gap play. We'll see. I'm only looking for 30 points for TP1. So TP2 is 60 points. Well, we shall see. This is the last trade of the day for me on 30. It was playing out. We almost got TP1, just like the other trade. But right now, we're sitting in drawdown. It's not looking good. Overall, risk has been managed today. I'm not at a big loss. If I lose this trade, I'll probably be at like minus 650 for the day, which isn't bad for three trades. But if I win this trade, I make it all back plus more. So the risk is there. Reasoning is that the four hour for value got, got filled at 10 o'clock. And I want to see this low of the day that ran that wick get held and I want to see price go higher. We'll see. Best case it plays out. Worst case, we take our loss and we come back tomorrow. All right, so right now I'm in my bed chilling. I'm still in this trade. Right now we're actually seeing a little bit of profit. Nothing crazy yet. It's not over till it's over, but it's something. I'm aiming for an ideal. TP3 is best case to make back all the losses plus more just to make my risk reward mix. All right, so now that you guys are here, I'm about to just walk with you guys real quick, but I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about the trade that i'm in so yes this is my third trade and honestly i kind of wish i didn't take as many trades as i did even though the trade ideas are good it's not like they're bad trade ideas that scared me but the trades that i'm taking are ideal trade ideas they're trades that i would take again they're trades that make sense it's just a matter of the conditions right now at the beginning of the year aren't the best and i know if jenner if you're watching this i know i know but at the end of the day we're managing risk what did i come back over here for my charger but we're managing risk and that's the main thing that matters i'm about to pop you on the tripod real quick while i get this charger we've been managing risk we're in a trade if this trade plays out it's gonna make us all the money that we were going to lose times two so i'm down right now 400 dollars. if this trade plays out i'm gonna make about 750 so i'll make money on top of the loss i'll make about 350 on top of the loss is that i take which aren't bad so that's why i'm cool with being able to take that trade because it all makes sense the risk is being managed the numbers make sense it's just a matter of is the trade gonna play out or not that's always what it comes down to because the trade is good but is it gonna play out who knows that's really what it comes down to but here i'll show you again but yeah right now we're actually up a little bit more now we're up 200 200 out of 750 we're getting somewhere we're in drawdown so i'm not too bad at the fact that it's not playing out too fast but I'm about to continue editing. I have a lot of editing to do. Hopefully this trade plays out. If it plays out, we're going to be off to a good start to the challenge. Even though it's been very choppy, we've been managing risk very well. And that's how we're going to be able to be successful. So I'll see you guys soon. TP is approaching. We're almost there. We're up 340. Nothing crazy. I'm not really watching the trade right now. Just kind of spectating, waiting for the alert to get hit up here. And 
this right here is the perfect example of the reality of trading from being look how close i was to hitting the target the target was right there that's how close we got and we're about to come back and stop me out at break even so yeah looks like we're just gonna end the day at minus 400 i risked 500 so it is what it is i lost a little bit less than what i originally would have lost since i cut the trade short but it's unfortunate yeah i wish this trade would have played out because i would have made it all back plus more especially because i was up but like i said i had a target in mind and the target was very clear i mean the trade could still play out but the probabilities of this trade playing out right now are significantly low you can't make it out yo i was just showing you guys that this trade was about to hit my break even and now it's about to hit tp ain't that some shit Look at that. It came in, filled that fair value gap, but I did not think it was not going to hit my break even. With how close it was, considering spread and all included, definitely didn't think it was going to happen. I want to get this on video. I was just editing the vlog, and it's about to hit TP again, so I had to take my SD card out. That was day two overall. So the last two days have been break even days. Yesterday I made $70 and today I made $17. Two days with sevens, but overall break even days. Two losses both days and one win both days. The losses, they haven't been major. They've been $250, $200, and the wins have been $500 and over. So I'm making back all the losses, but I haven't caught a good first win. So going into the next trading day, going into the next day that I'm going to be taking trades, ideally if I can get that first trade or second trade to hit, I'm gonna be in profit and I think it'll be a good way to end the week. Considering we have CPI tomorrow, which is Thursday. I'm recording this Wednesday morning, so I'm actually gonna finish, well, not even finish, I'm gonna start recording day three after this. So as you can see, we're about to get the trading day started, but I was just recording this for day two, but overall two break even days, nothing crazy. The main thing we wanna do is be able to manage risk. I've been taking losses. I've taken four losses the last two days. But I still lost no money. I only took two wins because I'm making sure that all my wins are two to three times bigger than my losses so that over time, I can still constantly and consistently make money even if it's slow. But with that being said, this was day two. We're going to see what we can do tomorrow. Staying safe, staying productive, and we're going to get to work.